after Burke had been uh, indicted, um, he was seeking uh, to establish the fact that he was a whistleblower, and at one point went to the Government Accountability Project, a nonprofit organization which helps and and protects uh, the ability of whistleblowers to speak out. Uh, they turned to me and asked if I'd be interested in taking on this case, taking a look at what happened, and seeing if Burke was a was a uh, whistleblower. I should point out that I'm speaking today for myself and not on behalf of the Government Accountability Project, but that was my route in. Uh, I reluctantly accepted it because it seemed like an opportunity to look at a, a case of major international corruption, uh, a case where there was massive fraud by uh, Kojani, but also uh, where there were a lot of other things going on. This fellow Hans Bodmer, who was the key witness against Burke, was also the chief operating officer for not only Kajani, but for a whole variety of international crooks, for the Russian oligarchy and for many Russian officials, uh, a, a, a international criminal of the first order. And you don't get an opportunity to look into these matters unless you have some access to information which is normally not released by the government or sealed. And what Burke did was he said he would give us access, total access, without any, uh, any controls or restraints to look at all the records that he had, all the information he had, we could ask anybody waived his attorney-client privilege and so forth. Uh, so I took on the project um, and uh, spent uh, uh, nearly two years, a year and a half, uh, looking at the at what actually happened. Uh, what shocked me, uh, and I think is what is important here, is that the government, uh, very deliberate, the United States government, very deliberately ignored what happened. Their, their interest was not in what happened and finding out what where this actually led, but in going after a relatively narrow cast of characters. They were in the process. Uh, it, uh, they essentially interrupted a very effective investigation conducted by the New York District Attorney's Office, uh, which had a, remarkably enough, by coincidence, a very competent attorney named Miriam Clipper, who uh, went to the Czech Republic, where Kojani originally was, uh, was, and began investigating and was m moving along, along with Czech investigators, uh, very rapidly, uh, and ultimately indicted Kojani. In the meantime, the federal government was approached by Kojani, who himself was, uh, because of Burke's whistleblowing, was being sued by other investors in London and was losing the case badly. So Kojani took a remarkable, uh, a, a remarkable strategy and came to the United States government through uh, attorneys uh, just at the change in the administration, just as the, as the Clinton administration was leaving and the Bush administration was arriving. And he essentially said, uh, I'm outside your jurisdiction. You're never going to get me. But uh, I am, in fact, involved in an international crime. But it's my investors who really led me to do it. And he then said, you can get the investors. You can't get me, and I'll cooperate with you, and began telling a story. And the principle there was that if he could establish the United States government interest in that fact, that they were all crooks, then in the London courts, where Kojini stood to lose uh, hundreds of millions of dollars, uh, the the, uh, the the courts couldn't rule in in uh, in the favor of the investors because the investors would be perceived to have unclean hands and could not uh, could not recover their assets as a result. So it was a negotiating strategy, effectively, but it worked. And once the government began its investigation, the United States government began its investigation, it threw aside. It didn't cooperate uh, uh, with the with the New York State the New York uh, uh, District Attorney's Office in their investigation, which was quite. Uh, far advanced and quite complete, and, and included already an indictment, an indictment for a, an extraditable offense. And they threw all that aside and then began to bungle around and ended up focusing on the the one person who was not, uh, they, they couldn't explain his behavior because he was a whistleblower. And he had, he had uh, as soon as he had learned of the of Kazani's corruption, he began blowing the whistle. He, of course, Burke had no idea that this actually went far beyond Azerbaijan far beyond the Czech Republic, and involved a, a series of Russian oligarchs, Russian banks, Russian officials, uh, and the third largest oil company in Russia, which was bought and sold and profited Kojini in the middle of this. So this, this elaborate uh, set of frauds that Kojini was involved in were, in essence, covered up by the United States government, who chose instead to bring the full weight of their uh, their 
investigative enthusiasm against the whistleblower. Uh, and that, to me, that shocks the conscience.